something like that, right? I finished the show and it works pretty good. I got the wig for just that reason. So to hide the tattoo, Yakuza or something like that. But anyway, I didn't wear it for the show and it worked really well. They love my head. Atamai des, eh? Eh? Alright. So after the show, I'm sitting on a bench, all sweaty and everything, all by myself, and this guy Jin, a white guy, walks up to me and goes, Hey, I uh I just saw your shows, so I'm kind of pretty good, but do you get heckled a lot in uh, America? And I said, well, you know, as a matter of fact, I do, sir. He goes, well, I'm an English teacher, and uh, if you ever get heckled over here, here's an expression that only two friends would use for you. It's the tofu no kadani atamo busketi shine, right? But you don't get heckled there. You don't get heckled. So I go for six weeks without ever getting heckled. Six days before I finished the, the six weeks, this old, like 65 years old, well-dressed Japanese old man, he goes, he starts screaming at me from the back of the crowd. It's Sunday at like 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and he's just screaming at me, wailing in Japanese. I got no clue what he's saying, right? So I, so I go, I go, Tofu no, kazuni, tamo, busketi shine. The entire, there was silence, just nothing, right? The entire, it was like Hiroshima, or, you know, just for a second. And then the first three rows moved back, and this burst of laughter and applause happens all at the same time, right? So what do you do? All you can think of is, that's in the show from now on, right? Right? You do it too, right? So it never really worked for the next four days. I do it, a kid drops something in a garbage can or something, 